Whoa, so what is growing on? Uh, about a mid-May update, I think today's the 12th. We actually got a little rain yesterday. It has been unreal dry. Um, there's been rain maps kind of coming out about Florida and I happen to be in that red pocket that has been super dry. East Coast getting pounded, South Florida getting pounded, North Florida getting pounded. For some reason, this pocket here on the West Coast has been a little bit dry this year. And maybe we got a half an inch here yesterday afternoon. My place down the road, not even enough to wash the dust off of things. Um, so we are quite dry. Rainy season can't come fast enough. But this video isn't about rain. This video is about power. I noticed the last video just came out about getting close to getting power. Um, I trimmed all of these trees. And I didn't trim the trees enough. It looks like when the power company came back, they even went up a little bit higher. They need 10 foot there between the pole and the tree. A couple of cuts I don't really like. I'd like to get back up there and prune those. Maybe next time we get a lift. Um, but this is kind of exciting. I almost felt like I should have had a party. Not running the generator anymore. Guys, I've been on this site for a year. Um, only time we have water is when the generator's running. 90% of the time there is no water. It was really only running for once we started planting, once we started putting bamboo in the ground, and to have power now and to not hear that generator, um, to have a street light, to have Wi-Fi, to have working cameras, is a huge, huge game changer. So really, really excited about that one. Should have had a power party, um, but we'll have a grand opening party. I can promise you that. Probably a soft opening once we get some permission from the county and a grand opening, maybe midsummer. Um, running some of these overhead zones didn't make it that far yesterday. A lot of the bamboos I was noticing yesterday are actually starting to already sprout. I'll show you guys a couple of those right now up along this back fence. And there's a little section here I talked about in the last video. We didn't do bamboo because the neighbor has bamboo on the back side. I think we're still going to end up doing a buffer there. He's got a couple of big Rottweilers that keep coming under the fence. So I'm going to finish that bed all the way back along the fence. And over here on the new bamboos, you see some of the sprouts I was talking about. This guy right here has got some sprouts. I don't see any on that one yet. I've even seen a couple of some shoots we noticed yesterday. I am starting to get a little nuts edge. This one's got some sprouts. And, yep, a couple little sprouts. So I'd say about half of these have already started to put off sprouts within a few weeks of planting. Most are sprouting off the cane, and a couple have shot already new shoots. But shade nursery is looking pretty awesome. Now we just need to add plants. I've started to work on kind of, um, I guess you could say, a, a border of a, a chain here on the outside to keep people from walking in at any point. Really want to drive them in up there at that front shed. So put a bunch of these poles in the ground, some of this plastic chain. Not quite done, I did run out, but you can kind of see a little bit of an idea of the finished product. And I got some carabiners on there so you can take it on and off easily if we're bringing plants into the nursery or need to get a machine in there, whatever it may be, it's just kind of temporary. But looking pretty good. I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing um, for this zone here. So basically for all the new bamboos, we have roughly 200 pieces in the ground. Um, I ran all of them on black poly and all of them with the maxi jet stake heads and I have been swapping some of those tips out to red tips the blue tips put out less water but they tend to clog a little faster you can see blue blue and all of a sudden we hit a red and that one puts about 10 gallons an hour compared to seven we'll see a little shoot but up until yesterday I was just running these off the hose bib and I know Nick's been using one of these timers for a while. It's one of the Rainbird hose timers and I have three of them out here. And combined between all the heads, I'm at about 180 heads at roughly seven and a half gallons per minute um, or seven and a half gallons per hour. So that still keeps me under what my well is putting out on an hourly basis at 55 gallons a minute. Um, I could probably even raise that a little more, but I don't want to overload the the well so i have all three of these zones coming on as of last night um at 5 a.m and three o'clock in the afternoon for an hour and you can tell everything is just soaked here this morning here's my little rainbird timer oh and it says auto excuse that little noise if you guys are hearing it i do have my uh my phone in my pocket and i'm getting notification notifications from the cameras Ever since I've uh, pulled in and walking around, 
and a lot of these have already started to sprout along the back and ones that really sprouted fast with a dwarf fern leaf over there in the corner but really the reason I walked over here was we don't have a generator there's nothing for these guys to steal now um, unless they're gonna take the copper or the well itself we still got some cameras over here I got a lock onto the power panel this way you can't show, open it up and shut off the breaker and another one of those timers right there running this last zone and that zone is gonna wrap all the way up to the front entrance and that's probably the next thing we want to landscape out here either side of that entry point kind of creating that grand opening entry and then working our way into this understory area where I want to do a staggering row of all different species of bamboo kind of like a collector's set you could say not just one variety for a long length kind of mixing it up a bit underneath here to really just break this up and stop that road noise and here's our newest addition of nursery mat this area is about another 10,000 square foot most of this is going to have cables with telephone poles with tree lines so we can strap bamboo or larger fruit trees into this area things that don't like overhead water on this far east end i plan on putting uh, sable palms oak trees cedar trees maybe maples any kind of native trees um, that are going to be b and b in the ground not in a pot those would be more or less what we like to call field grown Matt out here turned out really good after this stuff's in the sun for a couple days. It really stretches nicely. Um, this area is really flat, getting a little better, I guess you could say, as we go. You can definitely tell the difference from that first one when we started. We're in the process of swapping a couple of these end valves out over here. This valve right here is a hunter valve, and it's a great slip, one inch valve, the square top, but it only puts out 28 gallons a minute. And these rain birds will put out 38 gallons a minute. So when you have a well that puts out 35 gallons a minute and you want to use something like this, it is going to limit it. So we want some bigger valves here. We want to make sure we get the max water. Hey, got that's water? what's flowing on. What's oh, flowing yeah. on, dude? Oh. All right, power, irrigation. Oh my. Um, still need to do a lot of love to the office area. I have some woodwork I want to do on here, some skirting. I need to get a mini split in there. Um, kind of get it set up for an office and some storage That is about the last thing on my list. I'm getting ready to run a power line from that box To underneath here. It's gonna be a two-inch conduit and that'll let me bring power over there internet over there And we can get this timer over here running. I am still manually running this zone and The goal is to have a big timer in there and that timer's already got we have wires over here for this area wires over to that area this will run 16 20 30 zones as many wires as we want to run into that space and that's the trees that the tree company trimmed all right guys short video um really just kind of you guys aren't as excited as i am here power party um super excited to finally have power next update video i'll make probably be after the meeting i have with the county here towards the end of the month and at that point i'll have the drip line set up over there Need to do some more work to the driveway hopefully have some work done to the barn and maybe i'll be bringing some plants now that we got power stay tuned most importantly guys it is 2023 start a garden start a food forest pound some dirt